First, introduce yourself and thank everybody for participating in the workshop. Then explain briefly about the app. What is Lola Note School? Lola Note School is a learning support app designed for both teachers and students. Before starting the workshop, make sure to check a few things. Firstly, does everybody have LNS installed on their tablet? Secondly, has everybody downloaded the latest version of LNS? Thirdly, is everyone logged in? Get the participants to look at the list of subjects. The list contains what's been registered for teachers in their class rosters by the school account administrator. After everyone's logged in, pick a subject. Today I'm going to be a science teacher, Harry Wright, Statistics 1, Group A. First of all, I tap on the science subject. Next, we need to create a note. Ask everyone to tap on Create New Note. The note can be named with their name or with anything else they want. A note is like a file or a document on a computer. You can create as many notes as you want. LNS is cloud-based, so your data is saved on the cloud and can be accessed from any device, anytime. Next, before starting the lesson, check if all students are attending the class. Only the teacher can see the student's list, so ask everyone to look at the teacher's tablet screen to show them. This is called the student's list. It can be used to monitor what's going on in the classroom, who's logged in or viewing another app. White means that students are logged in. Red means that they're not logged in, and yellow means that they're viewing or using another app. Get one of the participants to log out to show them how the status colour changes. Once everybody's name is white, then you're good to go. Explain how to use the app to set and collect work for students. There are two main ways to set tasks for students using the app. Let's do a warm-up activity using both. First, you can send a card with a question or task on it via the Send tunnel. Cards can be sent to all or one specific member. Cards that are created inside a note are like the slides in a presentation or pages in a document. Users can create various multimedia cards such as photos, videos, PDFs or web screenshots and quickly send them to other members, including the teacher. This way, teachers can easily distribute and collect students' work and reduce lesson prep time. No need to switch between the apps. This is one of the reasons why LNS is so popular with teachers. Send everyone a card with your question on it. The card will pop out of the submit tunnel on students' tablets. Tunnels are direct pipelines between members for sharing information and data in real time. OK, ask everyone to tap on the card to bring it up. Then tap on the capital A icon and type in their answer. When everyone's finished writing their answers, ask them to send it back to you, the teacher. To submit their answer, put your finger on the card and drag and drop it on top of the submit icon. Teachers can view all students' answers by tapping on the submit icon. When comparing answers, you can pinch to zoom in and out. For this video, we used past materials, but during your workshop, use materials submitted by participants. You can also show one student's answer to the whole class using the share screen function. With LNS, you can create multiple multimedia cards. So let's create a photo card. Ask everyone to tap on the photo card icon and take a photo, for example of the person sitting next to them. You can also suggest to use the writing tools to decorate it. Don't forget, you can also pinch and zoom in for detailed parts. Let's exchange photos with other students. Ask everyone to drag and drop their photo card onto the send icon. Tell everyone to tap members and select the name of the person they want to send the card to. For example, the person sitting next to them.
while everyone is exchanging work, block students' tunnels. Or lock the screens to bring attention back to you. These are also teachers-only tools that help them stay in control of the class. Tap it again to turn off locking screens. Let's create a drawing card. Use your finger to handwrite your answer on the screen like graffiti. Next, explain how to use the web card. You can take screenshots of the web page you like. Once you've found a part of the page, such as a picture or text that you want to copy, enlarge and reposition it using your fingers until you're happy with what's showing on the screen. Then tap Done and the contents of the screen will be copied onto the web card. You can use this method to collect and collate information from the web, similar to newspaper cuttings or a collage. Everyone should now have at least three cards on their desktops. Demonstrate how to manipulate the cards on the desktop and show what you can do with them. You can join cards to make a sequence presentation. Tap the yellow arrow on the top right of the card and drag it to connect it to the next card. Tap the yellow line to get disconnect them. Tap the minus to make a stack of cards. You can also zoom in. In presentation mode, you can swipe to move between cards in a stack, or tap at the bottom to go straight to a particular card. Get everyone to submit their answers via the submit icon and show the answers in a split screen. Choose one answer to show to the class, make some comments on it and send it back with the feedback. For the final activity, ask the participants to make a small project on their own, for example about their town, country or a place they want to travel to, a favourite movie or something connected to the subject they're teaching. Ask them to prepare a small presentation with four to five slides using all types of multimedia cards and editing tools. First, share a sample project. Earlier we covered how you can distribute information in LNS to all your students using the Send Tunnel. With LNS, you can also easily import other kinds of digital materials into the app from your computer. Make sure you've uploaded the materials before the workshop. Tap on Materials icon and scroll through looking for the file you need. Tap on it, then tap Use in the top right corner and it will pop out on your desktop. The Materials box is like an online storage box where teachers can store whatever they need. Pre-existing materials such as worksheets or PDFs can be uploaded from the PC so both teachers and students can access them from there. And since it's cloud-based, materials can also be accessed from home. Explain that the teacher can set students a task from the taskbar. This is the second way to set a task to students. 
Type in a question and tap send to push it to everyone. Everyone should now be able to see a white ribbon with a question in it at the top of their screen. This means the task is active. Give participants about 10 minutes to make their presentation. When they've finished, ask them to submit it to you via the submit icon. Finally, pick one student to present their answer. Ask them to use the presentation tools during their presentation, such as pinching in and out, sliding between cards, and using the laser pointer tool.